हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द चैनल सो हेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन ईजी सब एरे सम सो क्वेश्चन स्टेट सेट यू आर गिवेन एन एरे ए ऑफ लेंथ एन यू कैन परफॉर्म द फॉलोइंग ऑपरेशन ऑन एट एनी नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स पॉसिबली जीरो सो वी नीड टू चूज एनी इंडेक्स आई वेर आई रेंजेस फ्रॉम वन टू एन एंड चेंज ए आई टू जीरो सो आर गोल इज टू मैक्सिमाइज द वैल्यू of the maximum sub array sum of a so we need to find the minimum number of operations needed to achieve this note that empty sub array has a sum of 0 so here we have suppose minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 so here the maximum sum which we can achieve is by turning out all of them zero which will be zero and if we do not turn any of them to zero then also we will get a sum of zero now in case we are turning them to zeros our number of operations would increase so we will consider in this case having the empty sub array so the output will be zero in this case now let's take another example i am taking here वन इंस्टेड ऑफ माइनस वन सो माई आंसर वुड बी वन इन दिस केस एंड माई ऑपरेशन वुड बी वन बिकॉज इट नीड्स द मैक्सिमम सवेर है सो ग्रेट दिस इज डन नाउ लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द केसेज देयर सो आर इनपुट इज लाइक दिस we have n the number of elements in a and we have a1 to an denoting the array a and output format is the minimum number of operations so first array we have is minus 1 minus 3 minus 4 so as i discussed in this case we can get maximum sum as 0 by both the conditions taking the empty sub array or converting these to zero so our answer would be zero in this case in case of 1 minus 1 and 1 we can have here 1 0 and 1 so we are converting this to zero so number of operations is 1 in this case next we have 1 2 1 minus 2 and 4 so we need to convert these two numbers to the positive so our answer would be 2 in this case so i hope you all understood how the answers are being written here so now let's think of the approach so firstly when we think of maximum sub array sum so we want a sum of positive number to the next positive number as many as positive numbers are present in the array because the negative will turn to zero so if i write here 1 minus 2 minus 3 4 and 0 so in this case if you see we can turn this to zero and this to zero if we turn both of these to zero our answer would be 1 plus 4 that is 5 but if i don't turn any of them to zero my answer would be either 1 or 4 but we want the maximum sum so our answer is 5 and the minimum number of operation is 2 so output is 2 now what if i have here Minus five, minus eight, and so on. So if I have negative numbers at the end, it doesn't matter because, however, it will turn to zero, and it won't count to my answer. It won't maximize the sum. So I will take my range only from one to four. Now what if I have here, suppose two also. then i need to turn these two into zero to get the maximum sum which would be 1 plus 
plus 2. So my operations would be now I will be turning minus 2 to 0, minus 3, minus 5 and minus 8. 4 of them to zeros. So my answer would be 4 in this case. So I hope you understood this intuition what I am trying to do. So what we will do is now we will take the first positive number and the last positive number and then we will get the sum between them so suppose from here we start finding my first positive number is 1 my last positive number is 2 so I will take this whole array the sum of this whole array so basically what we need to do in this whole range wherever negative numbers are there we will increment our count and return that count as our answer now suppose I remove this 2 so let's remove this 2 from here now I keep on finding from last the next positive number so minus 8 not positive minus 5 not positive 0 not positive 4 it is positive so I found out the index of the last positive number and the first positive number I will iterate from this index to this index and count the number of negative numbers that would give my answer and why this is true I have already given the intuition before also so let's look at this test case and I will include here minus 2 minus 3 at the end so still my answer would be 2 only because negative numbers won't count to the sum and I don't want them my last positive number is 4 and my first positive number is still 1 so hence this would be the answer so now let's quickly look at the code so that you can understand it in a more better way and you can see this code passes all the test cases so yeah let's look at the code so what we are doing here first we are taking all the elements as it is given in the array so we initialize first positive number as minus 1 the index is minus 1 and last positive index is minus 1 so we start from first of the array if my number is positive and my first positive is minus 1 which means I have not got my first positive yet so I will initialize first positive to i so here I am getting my first positive number so suppose I have 1 2 minus 1 minus 2 and 4 so if you see I go to iterate v i is first pointing to 1 is 1 greater than 0 yes it is so my last positive index becomes 0 in this case and my first positive is minus 1 so first positive also becomes 0 in this case now I move to 2 2 is greater than 0 yes so my last positive becomes 1 first positive is not equal to minus 1 so it will remain 0 only so we got our first positive it won't change you might have understood it from this condition now we move to minus 1 it is negative we skip this minus 2 negative we skip it so still our index is 1 0 1 0 now coming to 4 when I come to 4 it is a positive number so updated and this one is 0 sorry it will not be 2 the index so what's the index here here index is 0 1 2 3 4 4 so it is 4 so I got my last positive and first positive index and that is true my first positive is at index 0 and last positive at index 4 now what I will do 
आई विल इटरेट इन केस इफ माई फर्स्ट पॉजिटिव एंड लास्ट पॉजिटिव इज इक्वल सपोज आई हैव लास्ट पॉजिटिव ऑल्सो हेयर इफ इट इज माइनस टू एंड माइनस फोर देन आई हैव बोथ इक्वल विच मीन्स ओनली वन इज इन माई आंसर एंड आई डोंट नीड एनी ऑपरेशन सो माई आंसर वुड बी ज़ीरो इन दिस केस अदरवाइज आई विल इटरेट फ्रॉम फर्स्ट पॉजिटिव टू लास्ट पॉजिटिव विच वॉज हेयर the first positive was 1 and last positive was 4 so till 1 to 4 we will see if vi is less than 0 so 1 is less than 0 no 2 is less than 0 no minus 1 is less than 0 yes so at minus 1 my answer becomes 1 minus 2 yes so my answer becomes 2 and at 4 it is positive so hence our answer becomes 2 in this case so i hope you all understand the solution better way thanks for watching